today's video is gonna probably be a little bit different than my other ones. I'm wanting to do a vlog today. I'm gonna see how you all like that. We have got an issue in our garden. I'm gonna go down there in just a second. I don't know if you just heard that, it's the rooster. We have got some beetles in our garden we're gonna be trying to take care of today. We're gonna run and get some traps for them. We're gonna try to see how that works. I was gonna show you guys the chickens. It's been a while since you all had seen them. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. There's a few of them over here. They don't really wanna come out right now. I'm gonna get some food out, try to get them all out. Get them just a little bit of food. Chickens! That's not all of them. You all haven't got to see the coop in a while. I'll take it down here and show you what the coop looks like. We haven't done a whole lot. It's honestly past due. We still have to build the nesting boxes. We haven't built them yet. We have uh, upgraded the roost. Right, you can see we haven't painted the door yet. The door actually needs some work. It's kind of... The latch is hard to open. I think the door is sagging down because for one we didn't put all the screws in yet because we we're still gonna take it off and paint it. We're just behind on the coop, but it's all right. So as you can see, we have made them a little bit better roost. It's taller than it was before. Ashley stuck that up there, the hen den. The only other thing we've done with our coop is we put an American flag on the side of it. We thought it'd be a nice touch, a little patriotic touch we could add. Let me take you all down here and show you our beetle problem. So you all even haven't got to see the garden in many videos yet. But here's our cucumbers, a whole row of cucumbers that have taken over. Can't even hardly walk through here anymore. Look how big these things are. I mean, we've got them around in here. You can see them back in there, all up. This side is growing a little faster than that side back there because these plants are a little older. It's hard to believe how much they've grown since yesterday. You can see there's a little tiny one right there starting to grow. I have a ton of tomatoes this year. We've still got to tie these up. Here's our pepper plants. They're falling over. We've got to support them. We've kind of got a few wooden pieces in there trying to hold them up, but we just went and bought some stuff today and we're going to be sticking some little wooden dowels in the ground to hold them up. What is this one? That one's a spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Look at here. Hmm? Can you see them? This will be a squash. That yellow thing? Yeah, you see all the little... Ones? All those little ones are going to be squash? Yeah. Be Each one of those zucchini. yellow ones will be a, a zucchini. Oh yeah, I see it. A zucchini already. Oh, oh, look at that one. That one's already yellow. I know. Man. That's the one I was telling you about. That was the first one. I didn't even Here's see that one. one. Right here. All right, so we got our beans planted over here, but this is where the beetle issue is that we're going to be taking care of today. Look at all these things. And we need to get a support. We got to get a support for the, this up. for the middle. They are weighing it down a lot. Look at the damage these things are doing. Where's a bad leaf I could show on? Yeah, but look at that. Looks like and there's a bunch of beetles all over them. Tons and tons of beetles. We gotta get this beetle issue took care of or they're gonna destroy all of our beans. We won't have no beans this year if we don't get this took care of. So we're gonna head to Lowe's and we're gonna see what kind of beetle traps we could find. All right, we made it to Lowe's. This is where the beetle traps are. Let's get in here and see if we can find them. I'm not seeing them. I don't know if they got them here or not. May have to ask. We got a stick. We got a bucket, <laughs> but did not get the beetle traps. I don't think they have them here. We're gonna try a tractor supply next and see if they got any. Two days, guys. It took us two days in four different stores to find this beetle trap, but we got it. We got it set up. I'm gonna show you the trap, and we're gonna take the beetles out of the trap, and we're gonna put it in our Lowe's bucket. Let's see how this thing's doing. Here's the trap. There is beetles flying around it. Look at all the beetles on the fence. I don't know if it's the yellow that attracts them. There's like a little scented thing, I guess, that attracts them. And they just fly right down the bag. But I'm gonna set the phone up and I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna try to get these beetles in this bucket. Dang, there's a lot more in there than I thought. So I wasn't expecting there to be this many, but there is a ton in there. Let me show you how many's in this thing. You gotta close it. They almost flew out. That's crazy for just two days. It's a ton of beetles. Get this thing set back up so we keep on catching them, but it done pretty good. I was surprised. Just the one trap and we I'm gonna reuse this bag, so that's pretty good. We didn't think there was that many in there, but there was a lot in there, so I'm gonna get this thing set back up. I know what you're wondering, why in the world would we want a big bucket of beetles? We're gonna let them dry out. 
and we're gonna feed them to our chickens. We've heard that chickens will eat them once they dry out. They'll probably eat them alive, honestly, but we're gonna let them dry out and die. And we're gonna feed them to our chickens as snacks. By the looks of it, we're gonna have a ton after a few days. Cause I mean, they are swarming that thing. I didn't realize they liked it so much. Hopefully this will help you decide if you wanna get a beetle trap. We don't wanna spray anything on our plants. We don't really want, wanna put chemicals or anything on our beans. We're just gonna keep up with the traps and I'll have to do an update video and see if we can ever get these beetles tamed. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.